Hey guys, it's Andy here. These guys are such superstars. Well, on the Autumn Watch 2019 program, we're now talking to Chris about slugs. Do you want more information or some more cool facts about them? Here you go. Slugs are actually both male and female, meaning that they can mate with themselves, but they prefer to do it in pairs. On the right hand side of a slug, there's a hole just below its head. This slug is a genital opening for when mating, and also it's for where they breathe from. See, slugs don't actually have teeth. You might be thinking, how do they eat? Well, in fact, they have an organ called the regula, which is slightly serrated, which allows them to grind up their food. Black slugs are one of the more common slugs that you'll find in your garden and walking along paths. Black slugs come in various different colours, from black to brown to even surprisingly white. This colour tends to vary depending on what stage the slug's at, although it also gets darker the higher altitude that the slug is at. How cool is that? Black slugs have a very unique defence technique. If you were a bird and you started tapping the black slug, it would start to do a wee wiggle dance, which is spreading this distasteful slime all over its body. So for when the next time the bird or the animal pecks at it again, it gets this numbing sensation in its mouth, which you can obviously tell means leave me alone. Slugs eat a whole range of different things from decaying matter, so rotten leaves, so gardeners, keep them in your garden, to things like fruit that's slightly rotten. Some slugs, like this here leopard slug, are omnivores, which means that they not only eat those decaying matter, but they also eat other slugs. So if you don't want black slugs in your garden, you want leopard slugs. Not only that, but leopard slugs and all slugs are great food sources for a host of different mammals and types of birds, such as the badger and the hedgehog. And as you probably know, hedgehogs are in decline by 50% since the last century. So in my lifetime, they could probably be extinct, which means these guys don't have as big predators, so they're overpopulating. They're also overpopulating because especially here in the Highlands, we have warmer winters and damper summers which pretty much means that the eggs and these guys are maturing faster, which means eggs are laid in a much shorter time. You can see how climate change isn't just affecting these big mammals, but also the smallest of invertebrates. As I'm literally about to put these guys back, they're starting to get a lot more lively, which means there are a ten of come out. You can see it on this one right here. Oh, he just retracted them there. That's a defense technique. So when it hits something, it stops it from being hurt. On the top of these antenna, there's wee black dots, which are light sensitive, which means they pretty much their eyes. Although they only see mere shadows and can't see colours as well as we do. Underneath, there's two smaller antenna. These antenna are not only used for touch, but they're also used as taste buds. So slugs don't have teeth and they don't have tongues. I thought I'd just give you a few wee facts there so you can go and tell your friends and hopefully you now think that these guys are really cool and really useful to have in your garden. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.